All right, this is uh, problem number one from section 4.5. I want you to find the limit as x approaches one from the right of this function, x to the three over one minus x. Now this section is a, covers the L'Hopital's rule. So what, we're, what we wanna get is we wanna get this into a fraction form. Uh, right now it's in a form where you have some variable to an exponent and we want to get into a fraction. So in order to do this, we're going to have to use some natural logarithms here. <clears throat> so let's start by rewriting this as limit as x approaches 1 from the right. We're going to call this f of x equals x to the 3 over 1 minus x. So all we're doing is labeling that, hey, this is a function. And then we're going to take the natural log of each side. So I'm going to say limit as x approaches 1 from the right, f of x, well, I'm going to do the natural log. So natural log of each side And when I take the natural log of each side, what's really nice about this is this exponent then with the, the logarithm properties, this exponent can be moved to the front. So I start with the function, I take the natural log of each side, I can bring the exponent to the front. This is our first step here. So I'm just going to kind of draw an arrow up just because I don't have a ton of room so that you guys can see that I'm taking this step and I'm saying that this equals 3 over 1 minus x natural log x, which equals 3 natural log x, when you multiply those, over 1 minus x, which equals, well, what I want to do now, notice I have a fraction. L'Hopital's rule says if I take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom, that that limit will be the same as the limit for the original function. So let's take the derivative of the top and the bottom. So I'm going to say, um, let's say, take derivative. Of top and bottom. So we're going to have <clears throat> D over DX. of 3 natural log x over d over dx of 1 minus x. Now when you take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom, you end up with 3 times 1 over x over negative 1, which is equal to 3 over x over negative 1 when you multiply the top, which is equal to negative 3 over x. Now remember, we're doing the limit as x approaches 1 from the right. So at this point, I'm going to bring this back in and say, all right, the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of negative 3 over x equals negative 3. Actually, a better way to write this, so I'm going to kind of cross this out. Let me write this a little better. This would be the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of natural log at f of x equals negative 3 over x, which equals negative 3 when you plug the 1 in for, for the x. So now we can go back and we can actually find the limit for the function. See, we found the limit for the natural log f of x, and we found that limit to be negative 3. And the reason we found the limit for natural log f of x is because we took the natural log of each side, then we went through, used L'Hopital's rule, and came up with negative 3, meaning that the limit as x approaches 1 from the right was natural log f of x, or of natural log f of x is negative 3. So what we want to do is 
<clears throat> we want to go back to this part right here and say, all right, our limit as x approaches 1 from the right of natural log f of x, we know that to be negative 3. How do we get this so that we can have f of x equaling some limit? Well, if I have a natural log and I have some sort of equation, I can use exponentials to do that. So I'm going to say natural log is base e. So I'm going to raise this to the natural log f of x power. And I do the same thing to the other side. And then these cancel, and I'm left with f of x equals e to the negative 3. All right, limit as x approaches 1 from the right, which is equal to, I flip that, 1 over, 1 over e to the 3, to the third power. So my actual limit for this original function is 1 over e to the third power. And how I got there was, I started out by writing it in function notation. I knew I had an exponent, so I did the natural log of each side. When I did the natural log, I brought the exponent to the front. I then combined some terms, did the derivative on the top and the bottom, L'Hopital's rule. When I do the derivative of the top and the bottom, I end up with uh, a limit of negative 3, but that was for the natural log f of x function. I go back and I cancel the natural log function and I end up with f of x equals 1 over e to the